once you're checked and you're sure your computer is going to be able to run this stuff, you want to be downloading Unreal. So do you want to search Unreal Engine? Go to the site. Um, if you haven't got a sign in already, you will want to make an account and be the usual case of uh, logging in, signing up, confirming an email, getting your password set up and that. Then you go to download, it will give you these options. If you're just playing around and you and you don't know if you're going to be selling something out at the end of it, you can go create his license. Uh, and there's just a couple pointers of if this is the kind of project you're making, this is the license you want. So I would go download now in creator's license. Once that's downloaded, you should have an Epic Games Launcher, which you can find down here or you can search it here. And that should bring this up. You may then be prompted again to log in. Once you've done that, you should be able to go library in this top tab. And it will give you the option to download Unreal. And you'll probably want Unreal 4.27.1. So once that's downloaded, you can launch. If you're just starting out a new project, you'll have this new project category. You can select games, film and television, architecture or automotive. These all just have different base setups. And now that's all in the way of plugins and preferences. Uh, so if you find yourself going down one route and want to sort of change it up part way through, you can do it, but it's a lot easier to start with a base of what you are after from the start. So I'm going to go film and television because I'm doing, I'm looking at Twitch streaming as this first example. Go okay, film, film and television, double click that or press next. And then you've got these, as I say, kind of initial setups. But what I'm going to do is go for a blank project. Um, I'm going to leave ray tracing disabled. It's something you're going to lose precious frames per second on. You want to go with start con content because that's just nice textures and stuff you can go with from the start. So you want your folder location, save that somewhere where you've got a lot of space because these projects can take up to like 70 gig pretty easily. Uh, give your project a name, tutorial map 2 and go create project. So this can take a little while, especially on the first load up. Even with a blank project, it's got all the Unreal content to load in and just compiling everything from the start. So here we have our first project that's ready for us to import our MetaHuman. So that's going to be the next video is getting a MetaHuman into... Uh, well it's going to be customizing a MetaHuman first and then we'll look at getting it in. So catch out on the next one. Cheers.